I've been playing with Rod. The first time I played with him was in 1996 in Hollywood Park. Since that time, I have played with Rod um, at Hollywood Park, Bicycle, Commerce, Bellagio, Mirage, uh, pretty much every big high stakes poker game that was around between the 90s. What casinos and what cities? Uh, most of them were in California and some of them were in Vegas. The California ones were basically Bicycle, Hawaiian Gardens, maybe Hawaiian Gardens, but Bicycle, Hollywood Park, and Commerce were the top three. Obviously, Hustler. Um, I didn't go to the Larry Flint game, but I know he was frequent at that. Um, and then in, in Vegas was obviously Bellagio and Mirage come to mind. I don't really... Didn't we play at uh, the Rio once with Glenn? Uh, oh, the Rio, right. The Rio and obviously the Horseshoe. Yeah. So let's not forget those two iconic spots. Obviously the World Series of Poker being at the... Um, uh, horseshoe for a long time and playing with them at the Rio clearly for fuck I mean I've been playing with Rod for 24 years till his untimely demise very long time good man got nothing bad to say about him I met Rod um, about 1996 97 the first casino I ever played with them was I was playing 75 150 way beyond my bankroll I think I like it was my whole bankroll I grinded like 15 stud and 30 stud all day to get into the 75-150 mix with, you know, Rod Party and Danny Robinson and all those greats that were around. And uh, I met Rod and I soon found out, do not fuck with him in a hand because he will take your fucking money. And he will smile when he loses and he will smile when he, when he wins. And that's the one thing I always remember and respected him. Rod, no matter how many fucking times, he had aces up on Fort Street and I had the two ducks and I took it to the fucking river to hit the duck. He never said a word to me. And that was a pretty decent sized game back in those times. And you know, losing a hand like that can make the difference of paying your mortgage, taking care of your kids, whatnot. And Rod always smiled and I always remember him for that because he never said a word to me. A lot of other people did, but I respect Rod because he never said a word to me. When it comes to talking about Rod Party, um, one of the stories that comes to mind for me is that we had a lot of experiences in different exchanges throughout the years and a lot of different business transactions. But I remember when the Black Friday happened and a lot of people lost all their money and things went bad. And uh, I was moving to Vegas from Ohio. I had to come to a place where I could play poker and Ohio had no casinos at the time. They have four now. Okay. And I came down. One of the first people I called was Rod Party, and he's like, hey, what do you need? You're coming down, things are bad, blah, 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 blah. And I said, Rod, I need transportation, I need I need shelter. And within a phone call, he had me set up at a hotel. He always frequented the Powell Station. And uh, that was one of the greatest things that ever happened to me. He set me up with a room, I had two kids, and I needed a place, and I needed a shot, and I needed that shelter and the transportation and to Avis? get around. Tell what happened to Avis? The Avis was awesome, because he called a gentleman and I showed up to Avis with literally an ID and I walked out with a new car and the guy's like, come back and see me in a month. Rod's got you. And what did my dad and say you had to do? All I had to do is pay him his money within a month and you're good to go. And <laughs> literally within a phone call, I had transportation, I had shelter, then came the poker and that's a whole nother story. But those are the wonderful things that happened with, with dealing with Rod. Like you never knew what would happen, not happen and things that he would come there. But when it came to friendship, someone needed something, whatever he could do, he was there for you. And uh, honestly, I truly miss him. Great man. Cheers.